This is Aviv and Jared from West Coast Shaving, and today we're here with Sri from Holy Cow. Sri, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Aviv. This is a, a new yeah. segment. We got beers involved. Uh, Cheers. Cheers. I actually don't have mine open. I'll open it fine. All right. Cheers. I'm not much of a drinker. Uh uh. I know. Um, no reason we did this is because. Hops extract. Hops extract. We thought we didn't know that he was gonna bring so, so we thought he was asking for beer and so it's like hops extract and we set up this appointment and we were like, Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we came with Tall Boys. Little did we know that we'd have double the fun. Yeah. So why don't let's, the thing. let's start with this. Why is there hops extract in your soap? Good question. Thanks for asking that. Um, so hops uh, the extract is in um, it's got a lot of benefits, um, and this is proven by in vivo, in vitro, and clinical studies. It's got a lot of benefits for skin um, aging, as well as for rosacea, you know, on the cheeks, uh, the redness reduction or prevention. And uh, it's been used in several high, you know, high-end cosmetic products for the women. And um, I got it. I actually um, the, the the ingredient maker, the manufacturer. They were doing some large quantities for Estee Lauder, mm -hmm. and they had some left over. They said, you want to try this? I said, fine, I'll take it. And I formulated, and it turned out perfect, and then, then I started buying them. So if you are not a woman, and you want to be less red in the face? Hops extract is the way to go. Okay, um, cool. It's, and you know, if you want pure hops extract in a, in a serum form, we can get that for you as well. Um, because okay. the only, only bad part of it, or only downside of the hops extract is the, is the, the smell. Mm -hmm. So it's you have to overcome that when you're when you're making it. For the for the soap, yes. yes. For the soap, yes. But in in a plain vanilla serum, mm -hmm. without any fragrance added, it'll smell happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, not a bad thing, but something that you know, some people find it very little offensive. Yeah. But that's about it. And and in the time that we've had opportunities to chat, basically what what I think that you do well is that you're taking innovation from other areas of cosmetics and you're bringing it to the wet shaving world. Exactly. So donkey milk, right. hops extract, all these things, they're, they're prevalent in other areas of cosmetics and they have benefits that could also be great for wet shavers. So you're bringing it into your shave soaps, you're bringing it into, we're gonna talk a little bit about the new shave cream you have and the, and the serum, mm -hmm. but it's, it's bringing that technology or ingredient technology into wet shaving. That's correct. Yeah. And and you have more advanced ingredients though than, than this. Can you tell us what right now is the, the latest and greatest ingredient that you've uh, you've started working with? So um, again uh, thanks for asking that one of the uh, ingredients that I'm working with is it's a, it's a collagen that is made in a lab. Not collagen primarily comes from animals. Mm -hmm. Um, it could be bovine or porcine or marine, and uh, they have benefits and downsides because of the, the, the where it is coming from. And the, the entire collagen making process is kind of gross. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to elaborate on that. So there are these um, protein databases that are publicly available that you know you can easily Google and get them. One of them is called the Unified Knowledge Base of Protein. It's called Uniprot. So Uniprot has got the protein sequence of most of the living or and they also exi extinct extinct organisms. Yeah, I mean, this definitely sounds like an X Files episode. <laughs> in the making. It it sounds like they, that's how Before it sounds. Before Unipride mastered all of the yes. genetic materials, yes. the species and on the planet. It Go is on. there. It is there. Yeah. Um, so they made actually um, synthetic leather out of the protein sequence of some some organism. I forget which one. So this guy, uh, my friend of mine, he actually gave me the pro the the protein. Or the, or the synthetic collagen made from the protein of the jellyfish. Um, so this is basically, you know, imagine that there is an out of print book that you can't get anywhere, but there are pieces of the book that are available on websites. You take multiple pieces and uh, combine them together and figure out which are the missing pages and deconstruct the missing page and come up with the book and print the book, basically. So out of print, lost in the midst of time, suddenly the book is right there physically in front of you. Same thing, same concept. So they reverse engineered the. Uh, for, I, I have a lot of experience with that. That's all. Like awful. what? Well, I, like I'm like, hey, I, I see like one scrap of paper. I sort through a lot of shredding bins, for example. 
I like to get my information from there. <laughs> so I see like one scrap, and Dumpster I'm like, dive. how can I get other scraps yeah. and then piece them together? So that yeah, makes sense story. to me. <laughs> um, so that's how this whole thing came about. The synthetic collagen, you know, from the uh, published protein sequences, reverse engineer and come up with the amino acid oh. profile. And the Where product. is that? Is that in the shave cream? So that's in the shave cream uh, that we that we are going to introduce the um, serum, along the right. shave market customs end and also in the serum. Okay, so maybe before right before we jump into there, two new scents that you're launching soon, maybe they're not new, but one is for the... The shave market. The shave market community, and it is, you said, what was it called? It's the Agrumi and Estate, um, Citrus in Summer. And it's, uh, a, it's a citrus oud, you said? It's a citrus uh, anchored on cedar wood and uh, immortal absolute. Oh, this one. This one so yes. this one is the dance of agrooms that we introduced last year. We are bringing it back. Um, mm -hmm. We made a limited run last year, uh, but we found a lot of good responses. So we want to put it out again at the same time, just like how we introduced last year. So this is also coming out. This is called citrus, and it is anchored with oud. Oud, right, right. And we said oud was uh, East Asian. It's a Southeast Asian found in the jungles of you know uh, the agar wood tree. And the agar tree, you know, there's a, some kind of a fungus or some kind of a resin that comes out. It is scraped and then made into a, a fragrance compound. The so if we we dive into the shave cream, just maybe you guys can chat about it. Sure. Talk about the the benefits that you injected yeah, into the shave it, cream. You want to try the lather? Yeah. Here you go. And we. Again, not so soaking brush. Uh, yeah, I don't Squeeze buttons. out the water. Squeeze it too? Yeah. So really not. Yes, sir. I think I'm gonna go to my hand this time. So on top of the uh, tallow and documel cream formulation, we uh, added a lot of cosmetic ingredients for uh, skin hydration and skin moisturization. One of them is, uh, it actually, the, the cream, you cannot see it really inside. But the cream, uh, if you peel into this, it looks orange. Mm. So the orange color comes from the beta carotene. So beta carotene is actually an uh, ingredient found in carrots and beetroots and all of that. It's the, one of the phytochemicals that uh, make the color of the carrot orange. Um, so that's why this color is orange. It's got the beta carotene. It's a precursor to vitamin A. So vitamin A is actually good for the skin. So that's one of them. The other one is the... Um, anti-aging ingredients for using Japanese cedar wood or Japanese uh, berry, uh, cedar wood berry. So we got that also in there. And the third item that um, is, is the synthetic collagen that I that I talked about a few minutes earlier, that's also in there. And the last one is the some, uh, an, a, an essential oil ingredient that is found in a, in a tree. It's called the candia tree, C-A-N-D-E-I-A. Mm. Um, and it's the ingredient name is bizarre oil, which you will find it in high-end creams and lotions. I, I believe it is there in Kate Rich Cream. Huh? Right. Looks yeah. pretty good. Yeah, not bad right here. Peaky uh, slickness, right? Shiny? Yeah. Uh, it is know. shiny. It is shiny. Now, I've used a prior iteration of it, uh, and, and I definitely found it to be a great performer. It had uh, excellent cushion, I, I recall, and slickness. Um, and since then, you changed the additives. That's right. Exactly. Change the additives and also change the base formulation. Oh, you changed the base. We, we changed the base formulation. Um, because we were taking feedback from people like you yep. um, to improve the formulation, so we did all of that. You think I need more? I'm trying to, to use a few pumps here. It's obviously really slick. Yeah, you, you would think? probably need more. Okay. Yeah. I used a big brush. Yeah, um, I used a big brush. Okay, and then the serum is while Jared continues to lather, the serum is, from what I understood from you, it's really meant to be used on a regular basis, and it's supposed to provide a lot of nourishing qualities to your skin. Mm -hmm. It can be used as an aftershave, but not necessarily has to be used as an aftershave. Yeah. Jared was saying earlier that he started using this, and basically, he's a night shaver, so it aligns very well with that, um, that regardless of if he put his face through the ringer with right. like he's been trying to learn how to use a straight right. razor recently <laughs> uh, that the serum helps with any irritation absolutely yeah comes the skin right down when right. I get up the next morning it, it really any irritation seems to be gone 
Yeah, so I will, I'll give you the, um, some of the uh, formulation and the unique aspect of the serum. Um, so it's basically just like any other cream or lotion. It's got oils, water, uh, preservatives, and skin um, care ingredients, cosmetic ingredients. The one thing it does not have is an emulsifier, because oils and water, as we all know, it doesn't, they don't really mix together. They you know, kind of separate. So, but in, in any, any cream or lotion always has got a very waxy emulsifier that holds the oil mm. and water together. This one does not have that, um, but it still holds the water and oils together. It will not separate. Uh, it's been tested multiple times in, in the lab. And um, we are proud of this one. And it contains you know, skin-friendly oils like jojoba oil and also um, synthetic collagen and a um, lot of extracts from turmeric and Japanese cedar wood. So Japanese cedar wood. Nice. Um, overall hydration, overall healthiness of the skin, it, it does a great job for, for doing all of that. And ultimately, like, people will just have to use it and see if, you know, like, you know, the product will have to speak for itself. Of course. Yeah. Yes, uh, just like anything else, yes. Uh, new scents, new shave cream. Good, good dog, good dog. <laughs> it's very good. Serum. That's, that's and technology. Good. Technology. There's a lot of cool new things you yeah. guys have coming out. Thank you very much for Thank you. taking Thank the you for time. having me. Oh, hey! I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> a little, oh, there we go. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> <laughs> he came in the suit. We ruined it. <laughs>